Go ahead and pop this clip off. All right, so before you take anything off as well, we came in here, oh, come on, focusing. Right there and came in with a Sharpie. Just kind of- Marked our throttle. So mark our throttle, back. make make some marks and, uh, you know, you might want a video record just so you have some reference to go back to just in case. Removing these two bolts here. It was just as easy to get to it with the little gear wrench, first back gear wrench. Take those off, they're what, 10 millimeter? Yeah, 10 millimeter. Gonna pop some of these plastics off, get those out of the way. Make it a little easy to work on. I just don't want to risk damaging the uh, gasket on the intake, because I do not have another one. So popping this off first, and we'll pop this off first. Now we got a little more room to work <laughs> in there. I see you now. And go ahead and loosen your set screw on your throttle adjuster, and then pop this little latch right here on your choke, and just set that down. This connector will have to be used on the new carburetor too, so don't just chunk this before you get it on there. There we go. Get that pop loose. Get that out of there. Good habit to always put screws and bolts back, back in. Because you never know if you might have to reuse it. Yep, this bolt that's right here under the flywheel. <laughs> it's a bugger to get to, but you just, uh, I don't know, you can figure out a way. We'll do it that way. If not, all 10 millimeter doing work. They did not want you to do this. All right, we got those bolts out of there. Yeah. Pull There's this off. One right uh, clip right here that you want to remove to be able to pull the hose out. And by taking the plastics off and a box in wrench, I was able to get in here and remove that bolt. Um, I'm pretty sure they designed it that way. So that way you didn't do this and just bought a 20 horse, but you can't get it off without taking the intake manifold off. So it's off of there. Time to pull it off. And pull these hoses it. off, swap it out. Um, I ordered new gaskets and new fuel filter. I recommend doing that whenever you do this, but I mean, this is a pretty easy upgrade. Of all the stuff that I modified for power, this is a pretty simple upgrade. As long as it works. As long as it works. Once you get the carburetor off, um, these are the two gaskets that you wanna replace. There's a spacer here. You're gonna reuse this spacer, so do not throw that away. Go ahead and pop them off and replace these two gaskets and then put this back on and back together and you should be good to go. See a difference between the old one and the new one. See if you can see anything from the outside. Should be all internal, basically. I think it's a uh, bigger, bigger, um, bigger jets. Bigger jets. And uh, everything else looks pretty much identical. All right, now I got that thing back together. Got the spacers in there. The um, connect your two hoses at the bottom first. So connect the two hoses at the bottom, and then uh, basically it's just reverse a little of what happened to take it off. <laughs> and I am 100% convinced that they made this bolt right here to where you can't get a socket on it to make it a pain in the ass so you don't do this. Right. Now we gotta remove this because we reuse our choke holder. So flip this all the way up. And if you look inside of there, it's two tabs. Take you a little pick and just pull down and squeeze both sides and pop it out of there. That's how you get that little tab yeah. off. Do not go pulling from this side because you will break it. So just make sure to just pinch them little sides in inside of there and pop it right out of there. Put that back on, connect your rods, get your throttle back where it goes, go test it out. Should be good to go.
We got this thing in here. Got the um, arms all hooked back up. Really, really not a whole lot to it. Nope. And whenever you're in your idle position on here and you're putting your throttle uh, control arm back in, push the control arm, make sure you're all the way down, push it all the way toward away from the motor and then tighten it down. And now we have one open so. Sweet. Now all we gotta do is go test it out and see if we can fill more horsepower in it. And we also done a lake run with yeah. GPS to see what it was before. Kinda... With, the, with, the, with the lake run, with every bit of gear in it that's in it right now, and just me, I was topping out at 23 miles an hour, and it was taking, taking a decent amount of time to get up on plane, but this should make a big difference. And then I'll do the test comparison of the th three blade 10 pitch and the four blade 12 pitch. Let's see if she turns over. That's it, and it did not sound like that before. It, it sounds like a small V8 engine now. So, that is how you turn a 15 horse into a... To a 2 zero horse. <laughs> it's even gooder now. Right, now I gotta make new vinyls. Yeah, new sticker time. Yep. See you on the next one.